All right, today I'm going to talk about uh, batch pre-processing, mainly because in uh, astrophotography, a lot of people, uh, when they're starting off, they're, they use Deep Sky Stacker because it's free, um, but then they go on to have access to PixInsight and don't really use it for stacking their pictures, which they should because it's a, a great tool. Um, a lot of times uh, people will just stick with Deep Sky Stacker and uh, you just have more of a you have more control over it with batch pre-processing so I'm gonna go over that so okay so first you're gonna wanna go to scripts batch pre-processing or batch processing and then do batch pre-processing we're gonna open this up and by, oh by the way we're gonna go over uh, uh, DSLR images and uh, monochrome images uh, so and it's basically the same on both. You're just there's a few options, or really only one option you're going to check. Um, so for DSLR, if you had DSLR images, you'd really you just check the CFA images, which is uh, color filter array images, and then you can uh, pick how you want the debayering done, which is basically just how it organizes the uh, pixels on your, you know, on your colored image. Most that most of the time, RGGB is going to be what you want so just leave that um, but today I'm going to be using uh, monochrome images so we won't we won't do that um, so basically you're just going to want to add your your pictures you're going to go down here lights flats darks bias um, so first I'll add the lights here all right so I'm going to do the North American nebula so here are my lights that I took these are uh, 20 minute lights and so you just do that oh I just added that to the wrong spot sorry about that let's see clear okay add lights sorry okay so you do that you add the lights um, to the light section go over add flats so what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna show how to use both master uh, and just individuals um, so I have this for flats. So we'll do we'll do the individual frames and make a master frame out of that batch pre-processing. So we'll select all these. These are going to go in the flats. Now for darks, this is how you'd use the uh, master calibrations. Um, if you have a master frame, you're just going to do pick that, and then you'll select you have a master dark. Use master dark, and then you'll get this little star, and you know it's using it. And for bias, it's the same thing. You're going to use master bias. All right. Um, all right. And then, uh, generally, you're going to want to use Windsorized Windsorized Sigma clipping for all of these. Um, if you have the option, you'll generally be given the option if it's not a master frame. Um, so uh, you want to use that if you have less than eight. Uh, you're going to use percentile clipping. I think it even warns you about that. Uh, but yeah, generally Windsor Eye Sigma clipping, that's what you want. Um, <coughs> you can generate drizzle data from this. Uh, that's if you want to, that's basically if you have monochrome. Uh, DSLR, you don't really want to uh, drizzle your data, uh, unless you have a lot of data, I guess. Um, but monochrome images, I, I generally do this. Um, all right, and then we're going to pick registration fr registration frame. This is just or a reference um, frame. This is basically just what all the light frames are going to be stacked to. And you can you can have your own. You can pick and go through the file your files if you want to pick one out of here. Generally, I just pick, I just double click one of these. I know they're all about the same. I didn't do there too far, so they're all about the same spot, and uh, it's it looks pretty good. Then your output directory, you're just going to pick that. Uh, let's see, we're using this, and that's just where it's going to go. And then you can you can check here. This is just a little tool to just to see if you have everything ready. And this says diagnostic complete. If you didn't have it, like if you, uh, like for instance, if we took out this uh, and we hit diagnostic, oh no dark frames. Mm. So that's a good reminder. Um, and it doesn't matter. You don't have to have dark frames to continue to go. Uh, you can just say it doesn't matter I don't care and then just keep going but and that goes for any calibration frames alright so we'll run this here 
so uh, we'll come back when this is done. Alright, so we just finished up here. <clears throat> so now we're going to look at the uh, finished product. Oops. Alright. Okay, so we go back to this, to our file here. And now it's going to be in the masters here. Uh, so what else, So the other things it created here is calibrated frames. Uh, you won't really use these. Registered frames, you will use these if you want to do uh, image integration. And uh, like just by yourself, that way you can do a little bit more settings when you stack your photos. That's what I like to do. Um, I think the pixel rejection is better handled using image integration. Um, and if you want to use multiple nights, you can do uh, image integration using that as well. Uh, all right, but here's the master light frame. So, and then these are just uh, what got rejected. So, and you can look at these. You can see all that. It looks like we have some star data here that might have got rejected. This might be out of focus stuff. Didn't quite stack right. All right. All right, so there we have it. So, we have this, it looks like it's upside down, I guess. Let's see, I'm just going to fix this here. Alright. So, and there's our stacked image. Looks good. Yeah, it looks like it did really good. Low noise. Everything looks really good. Alright, and that's how you use batch preprocessing. Thanks for watching.